rationale for putting a kid who sold a bag of weed or whatever it was in jail for many, many years? How does that, in the interest of public safety? Well, I don't think it is in the interest of public safety, right. uh, but I think what we talked about before about fear um, and using fear as a way to move the, the populace one way or another when it comes to political advantage, uh, it became uh, politically advantageous. Uh, and granted, we were in a higher crime era during that time, but it became politically advantageous for people to try to compete with each other on how harsh they could be with criminals. And it sounds right, because this crime sounds terrible, so for us to make sure that this crime doesn't happen again, let's take the sentence from 10 years to 40 years. Let's take the sentence from 10 years to 75 years. Let's charge this 14-year-old as an adult, because it sounds terrible what this kid just did. And no politician thought about the collateral damage that it would cause to the community. The fact that that lengthening of the sentence wouldn't actually improve the kid's life, wouldn't improve the victim's life, uh, or the, the family's lives of the victims, but it just sounded like you were stronger, you were tougher, if you ratcheted up the sentence dramatically. And that wasn't the only cause for these uh, things to happen, but what it gave prosecutors was a tool to negotiate. And almost every, every uh, uh, case is resolved before people go to trial. So now that they have this mandatory minimum as a weapon, uh, it forces the defendant to choose between two terrible options, the, the lesser of two evils, and they end up taking a pretty long sentence because the mandatory minimums are, are the, the stick uh, as opposed to the carrot.